Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's another day, another drama with Rooster Teeth. Yeah. Yeah, another potential, potential scandal. Potential, what do you say? Potential, maybe, possibly, maybe. Maybe, possibly, maybe. Because we can't confirm everything. But other individuals have been canceled on less. Yes, that is true. Rooster Teeth has canceled other individuals for less than what we're going to talk about. We're Vic going Mignana. Eh, Vic Mignana. We're going to talk about Adam Kovic of Rooster Teeth, who is now, uh, I guess, being uh, accused of sending lewds to other women and, and other things. And other things. Uh, we're going to talk about that. But before we get into that particular debacle, I want to talk about where Rooster Teeth is at right now. Well, before we get to that, I want to say, hey, please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Yeah, please do that. Please do that. We're almost at 150,000. That's right. We don't ask all the time. We haven't asked for a while. We're like, oh, we probably should ask again. So, hey, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And if you have, make sure you still are subscribed because a lot of times people get unsubscribed. So, anyway. YouTube magic. Continue. It's YouTube magic. Anyway, uh, so let's just recap where Rooster Teeth actually is. And that's why I have this particular article pulled up. Uh, talking about Warner Media and how they are investigating every division of the company yes. for potentially toxic workplaces and potentially toxic people. And there's going to be a zero tolerance for toxicity. Right. And they've said that they're going to take, you know, accusations very serious, seriously and investigate the heck out of them. So let's see if, you know, because this is an accusation, whether or not it's true, we don't know, but it's an accusation. So I'm assuming they're going to investigate it because... They said they're going to take this kind of stuff seriously. Yeah. So Jason Kalar, who is now the head of Warner Media, said that uh, he anticipates there will be situations where they choose to terminate business relationships. Uh, there'll be situations where a person may choose not to work with us because of the expectations. That's fine. Uh, you know, basically, we don't care. Don't let the door hitch on the way out. But there was another article out there where they basically said that if there are any problematic divisions and it becomes a continued problem and they can't fix it, then the division either gets shut down or sold off. Yes. Uh, so Rooster Teeth is not in a very good place right now. They haven't been for a while. I mean, they had a bunch before Jason Kalar came in. Um, they had a bunch of allegations from different situations. They had a bunch of layoffs last year. Weren't there a lot of complaints on Glassdoor, too, about the company? Yes. 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 And, and then we had people coming to us that had worked there, been around Rooster Teeth, that said there were layoffs before that, supposedly, but they weren't announced. Yeah, Rooster Teeth is basically treading water, and I think the uh, uh, the cock is about to get bitten here. I know. You told me it was called cock bite. I didn't I believe you. I thought you were you were yanking my leg, pulling my leg, yanking my chain, whatever. You were yanking something, and I thought that that you were kidding. Biting the cock. I thought you were thought you were making yeah. it up because he um, does this. I'm very gullible sometimes, and he knows it, so he'll tell me stuff. Squid King too. <laughs> we're just. Uh, very good liars, I guess. Yes. Actually, no, I'm, I'm not really. Um, so, uh, look, last year, Rooster Teeth executive charged in domestic violence incident. That is not a good headline. And this is just November of last year. All right. Uh, if you go to Bounding in the Comics and you just look at their Rooster Teeth tags, you will find all kinds of stories about people jumping ship from this company. Okay, sometimes not by their choice. Yes. But a lot of the founders, a lot of the old school Rooster Teeth founders have uh, left in, in one way or another. Um, Bernie Burns announced that he was leaving. Um, we've got... Uh, you they keep know, raising their prices. Right. They're raising their prices. And what they're doing is they're basically courting Hollywood at this point. Because, you know, on one hand, they're like, look how progressive and woke we are. And on the other hand, they're having all these crazy accusations um, be thrown out there and people getting out it as being, uh, you know, frankly, pretty, pretty terrible people. And it seems very common. Like you Google rooster teeth, you go to Google news nine times out of 10, uh, unless they try to bury it with some puff pieces, you're going to find bad news. Right. I mean, that's kind of where that company is in the last year. And, um, you know, they had this big thing like, you know, get lost if you're not with us about diversity and inclusion, and we're gonna go back and purge a bunch of our yes. problematic content. And I think the reason they're gonna do that is because given even some of these allegations, there's some pretty pretty uh, uh, damning stuff in here. We're gonna talk about Adam Kovic, but just this, uh, you know, this one video is kind of a collection of his, his off-color remarks. 
And if these allegations turn out to be true, uh, it's not going to be as funny no. as it was because uh, they're talking about all the little girls he's distracted by and, and uh, you know. And people thought he was kidding? Yes. Well, oh. He was kidding at the time. Um, we had just last week, you know, we had uh, Ruby co-creator left. Miles Luna is leaving. You know, you don't jump ship from a successful company. Not in, not in this economy. And if they do, it's usually to something else that's a, a better position, not just because they're just leaving. Right. So, okay. So, anyways, what's going on is allegedly, possibly, maybe, we allegedly. have to do that. Because um, we, we don't know. It's like when the whole Vic Bignana stuff came out, we, we, we had the stance of, you know, we don't know. I know I've seen the behavior done by other people. Uh, he's not the only one, if that's the case. I don't know if it's true or not. I don't have enough evidence to make that decision. I will let the courts decide, but I don't think it's right to just cancel somebody based on um, circumstantial, you know, wasn't even evidence, just, just you know, hearsay. Um, I would stand by that again, uh, except this time there seems to be a little more evidence of the issue. Yeah, so here's here's the thing. Uh, a bunch of, of uh, lewd images and videos have popped up uh, that include Adam Kovic, and they've been. Um, you know, this has been verified. This has been verified. Yeah. Okay. It I is, make sure because you know it is him for sure. Apparent, you know, uh, participating in lewd acts. Now we don't know who exactly he's participating with in some of these videos. We don't know if it's underage or grooming or right. any of that stuff. So you don't know. We don't know that. So I'm not going to go and make those claims because we don't know. Now apparently his wife was in some of those videos. Whether or not she knew. She That's was. come up. People said that she I didn't. Don't know. Uh, we don't. Like again, we don't know. We're just telling you what we do know. What we do know is allegedly. Well, these videos are out there. Apparently, they they are. Um, so anyway, we got tagged in on this discussion, and we debated whether or not we were going to cover it because I'm like, man, this is pretty spicy. But then the flip side of it is, is like you know, looking at everything, the whole situation with Rooster Teeth. Mm -hmm. It's like this this company, frankly, is a dumpster fire. And, yeah. and every time they virtue signal, they're like, hey, we're not going to do crappy things. We're not going to we're going to get rid of people for, uh, you know, some rumors of, of misconduct. And we're going to make sure we're, we're nicer to our black employees and all that. And then it turns out that there's really something shitty that so they're, they're trying to cut. It looks like they're trying to smoke screen you know, to cover. It's like we see this in politics all the time. Right. Suddenly there's, an, there's a crisis and an issue and then, it, and then it goes away as soon as whatever they were trying to hide gets, you know, voted through and hidden. It's kind of like, that's what it kind of reminds me of. Yeah, so again, I mean, this comes back to where Rooster Teeth is. They were already in a bad place before Jason Kalara came in, before the pandemic. Rooster Teeth was in a bad place before the pandemic and uh, before AT&T decided they were gonna just cut everything loose that did not perform. Okay, so what do we have on this situation? All right, so it is involving uh, Adam Kovic, who is on Funhouse, and you know people seem to seem to like him. Okay, okay. You know, he's, I don't he's, know him, so I, I'm not going to have any pre-existing idea, or, right. you know, preconceived pre preconceptions. I can't speak. Blah, blah, blah. Preconceptions. I am I am uh, somewhat familiar with him. I don't watch Funhouse that much these days, but he does do gameplay videos and skits and that sort of thing. Okay. So this is what came up on uh, Kiwi Farms, which is notorious for digging up dirt. Okay. Um, are they right or are they not right? A lot of times they're right. Okay. I, I'm going to be honest. I've a heard lot of times, it, I've never been there. Yeah, either. it's... Other than when you pull stuff up. Yeah, I, I mean, a lot of times they're right. Now, the accusations that the, the people that were involved were potentially underage, I think that came from 4chan. So I can't verify that, but there are lots of videos um, and I made a mistake. I accidentally you clicked one. I clicked one by Why? Accident because I thought the it, accident my foot. It was an accident. I okay. Clicked, I was scrolling down. I thought it was like C for more. And I clicked. I'm like, oh my god. Did uh, you see more than you wanted to see? I saw an ass. That is literally Wait. all I saw. Okay. Somebody's. I I don't know whose it was. But anyway, there's supposedly. Was it allegedly his ass? I don't know. I don't. I, I just didn't, saw it. I okay. was like, I don't want to see that. So I I opted out of the ass video okay i don't want to know yeah um, why did you do such a thing because anyway. i thought it was like oh, click God. i thought it was like a spoiler like a click. spoiler well you still might have seen an ass in a spoiler picture here's, here's a little bit word for advice for you if it involves something like this and what these allegedly are the best thing to do is to not click at all don't be spoiled don't be spoiled you don't want to see anything i wouldn't even want to see the picture I mean, you really can't tell from a butt well, if it's no, his butt or not. It was like click. Could allegedly it was be like butt. click for more. So he clicked, and I thought maybe it was, and it was like, oh shit, I don't want to. I mean, this. even if he had his name tattooed on his butt, somebody else could have had their, his name tattooed on their butt. So it doesn't they make could. it doesn't make it his butt. Well, if he has a blue check on the other cheek. 
Oh, if it's blue check, then yeah, it's yeah. obviously. His then you butt. know. Then you know it's him. Twitter's always right. Anyway, uh, yes, there are lots and lots of lewds. Uh, apparently, some people on Kiwi Farms spent the time going through the videos. Well, they must, he must have pissed somebody off on Kiwi Farms to, uh, to have them find it. But okay, so let's, sometimes it doesn't take much. There are allegations. Allegations. Okay, I'm gonna be no. very clear about this because we're not saying this is true or not because we honestly don't know. I'm not going to scroll too far because oh. people put pictures up. Well, yeah, and people also put his his personal. Oh like, no, no, that's stuff. not okay. I don't believe in doxing, so that's not cool. I'm not, but they wanted to verify it was him. Somehow, well, you so know, they, oh, make sure it was him and not somebody right. else named the same thing. Okay, I get that, but why would you post it? Um, you know, I don't know. I mean, I'm not gonna. We're not gonna. So okay. So anyway, what we do know the is issue at hand, the asset. There here. is a, a Google Drive containing over 400 photos and videos of him, and they range from non-nude photos, okay, in the mo in the mirror to videos of him. Oh, with toys, well, including one that looks like a um uh, uh uh yeah under I'm not gonna read that. Doll. Um, okay, but. There's an archive. I'm not. That's so. Why would you put this on your Google Drive? So I, I don't know. Now I don't know where it came from. I think people said that they they. Here we go. Okay, the allegations. Here we go. And they said some of these appear to be of Ryan Haywood. Um, you can tell them apart. Now, who's Ryan's. Ryan Haywood? Ryan Haywood is a, another Rooster Teeth personality. Okay. So I don't know these people, so I don't so, know. So it's like there's a lot of uh, so potentially. So there could be. Wait. So wait. So this drive. Might have not only pictures of himself, but another guy he knew he worked with have pictures of him on there too. That could be. Yeah. Okay. I'm okay. One. Okay. There's so many questions. I, one. I, why the hell would you put pictures of this up on a Google Drive? <laughs> two. Why would you have pictures of somebody, possibly somebody else, like that on your Google Drive, doing some things like that that you could access at any time that worked with you? I don't know. I mean, I'm just trying to wrap my head around this, and my my poor uh, innocent brain can't can't wrap it around this. Yeah, this is a lot of this is a lot of um, yuck to process. I'm one of those naive people who don't even know about half these websites, and people are like, "Oh, you're so innocent." Yeah, stay that way. Please. I'm trying to. Um, the allegations: the primary source, the leaker, who is currently anonymous, claims to be an adult who catfished Adam Kovic by pretending to be an underage so girl. So you set him up, but okay, go ahead. But the stuff exists. There's mm -hmm. a picture of her display photo in one of the leaks. Um, even if the leaker, and I don't want to go any further because his address is down here, I don't want to go there. Uh, even if the leaker is not underage or this allegation is completely fictitious, he's definitely cheating on his wife, and they're definitely of him. The armband, tattoo, and facial hair can be seen in every photo. Wait, he's got a picture of himself going to get raped, and is that his wife behind him trying to get dressed, and she's in I this... I think. Gosh, if you do that to me, I would kill you. Yeah, don't. Yeah, because people are making fun of her butt. Why would you make fun of her butt? She's a, she's an innocent person in this whole thing. Hopefully, she's, I hope. Well, that's the thing. okay. So this I can't, can, I can't even. this <laughs> this it hurts my brain. God, we're too normy for YouTube. This I guess this whole thing um, kind of reminds me of uh, what happened with Pro Jared, except in the situation of Pro Jared, his wife, girlfriend, wife. She knew what was going on. She was apparently okay. That, but then I thought she, she wasn't, which but is But then she used it. Well, no, they had, I, I, I guess. I don't even had, know. I, I don't know. I, that would require caring, and look, I didn't. Look, this is, this is, and this video is not going to age well. It's distracted by the little girls. Okay, so gonna have. <laughs> I'm trying to sum it up, because I think everybody else listening to this is going to be as confused as I am. Like, what the hell? So It's not confusing. The summary is, dude had a Google Drive full of pictures of himself, sometimes clothes, sometimes in other ways of pictures that could be questionable. Yes. And they hacked the Google Drive and they found a bunch of things that could get him in trouble. Yes. Dude's working on, on uh, you know, Rooster Teeth. He's working at Rooster Teeth, and which is part of Warner Media, which has a no tolerance policy for this. And people yes. are wondering what's going to happen yes. because it's been discovered that he did these things. Yes. Now, do we have, do, do we know if he actually, so, and, and they set him up with a, a fake account to see if he take the bait, which he did. Yes. Allegedly. So, yeah. Possibly, it, maybe. Yeah. That's, that's it. This a, hurts my head. That's it in a nutshell. So, yeah, they, they basically kind of Chris hansen him. But it's okay when Chris Hansen does it because he's part of a TV show. I, I guess. And, and, so, I don't know. Again, these are, these are, look, the, the videos are real. I wish the camera was on right now. People would see my face. I'm just sitting here like. Trying to process I this. am. I'm just like in the state of like, okay. So, okay, so if they have evidence of this, I would assume 
that Warner Media is going to jump on this, yes. and I would hope so. Now, my next comment is when there was alleged, when there was alleged, you know, misconduct by Vic, Vic Vignana, it was all over the place. All the you know the new media had it, and my news network had it. They're all covered, and that was just based on allegations without evidence. So why in the heck isn't it all over the place now if there is evidence? Well, that is a a damn. That's my question. Good question. Uh, people did tag Anime News Network and Crunchyroll News into that thread. And, and when was this thread? Yesterday? Uh, Today? Yes, yesterday. So they had more than enough time to look and, into it. Right. I mean, again, this is kind of shows the double standard. They they had already formed a preconceived opinion of Vic Mignogna, and they decided that they were going to, you know, throw him overboard. And they had to backpedal and then, you know, retract a lot of the evidence that that was their quote evidence because people came out and said, that's not what that picture is of. And you didn't use that picture of my permission. Right. So I know they had to retract a bunch of things with Vic. Now we have this person and this, and there's these, this alleged evidence. I don't see them running with any of this uh, unless they learned a lesson from last time, which I very much doubt. I, I doubt it. I think it, it depends on the kind of, the kind of person you are and whether or not you're in the club. So if you um, actually do something and there's evidence of you you know, doing something, um, you get a pass if you're in the club. But if there's just as alleged uh, people say, making comments and, and you're not in the club, they can, they can you know, drag you through the mud. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, look, and I'm not going to make this a, 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 a Vic versus everybody else. I'm not either. I'm just saying there's definitely two different there's a uh, approaches thing. here. Right. And, you know, what we're seeing is that it's coming out that, you know, Rooster Teeth, for all their, their uh, virtue signaling about mm -hmm. how inclusive they're going to be uh, and how uh, not toxic they are and how you know good, good Rooster Teeth is, it sounds like they have a lot of skeletons in the closet with a lot of their people. And I, I just personally have to wonder how long until Warner's like, yeah, we can't fix this. Like, we can't fix it. Let's just pull I, the plug. I'm surprised they haven't pulled the plug on them yet. And that was before this. Okay, so I'm going to take the same stance I took last time, which was, okay, so these are, you know, out there um, until, you know, I, I would let it be, be decided by the courts or decided or by, somebody you know, internally somebody at, internally. Or, yeah. I mean, it's not up to us. But I do think if they if they don't do something about this, and they did something, and they went overboard on other people, that there's a double standard that needs to be addressed, and that maybe they should, you know, check their privilege and examine their, themselves. Ooh, did you say check their privilege? I did, because he's a dude. And, you know, and apparently if you're a dude, you're automatically guilty. Yeah. I mean, we've seen it before, so. I just, Rooster Teeth is just a, a dumpster fire. I mean, it really is. And it's so sad, because, you know, I've said before, what I, I liked about Rooster Teeth back in the day was that they were this feisty independent studio and you know they didn't give a shit and they just did what they wanted to do and and now they're part of the corporate system but we're also finding out that along the way they were hiring some you know legit awful people you know and it's it's this is how it's going to end well some people were there to begin with that when they bought it yeah. out they you know yeah, got they came people, with it but with that case yeah uh, i'm sorry i'm distracted by the heavily tattooed teacher anyway, anyway um, sorry so it, it's yeah this is how rooster teeth is going to end they're going to end i, I think uh, corporate mandate, they're going to you know, break up. I think Warner Media is going to have to. I mean, yeah. there's too much bad press here, and there's too much, too many, people too many issues, too many people are upset about things. I think they're going to have to roll it into something or do something. They're just going to have to. And you can you can overlook a couple of things here and there, and I hate to say it, but you can overlook them if the company is actually making money. It's like, oopsie, oopsie. I mean, the higher-ups will, will overlook They things. will overlook That's it. That's what you're trying to say. Should, should they? No. No. But will they overlook it yes. if they're making money? Yeah. They'll be like, you know what? We just got rid of that person. We're going to carry on. We've seen it many, many times um, happen. But what's going on with Rooster Teeth is every damn month. I mean, it's almost, it's almost weekly now. There's... Mm -hmm. Somebody Some leaving, bad news. somebody in a scandal, uh, something, something, something's getting canceled, people get laid off. Prices are going up, something. Yeah, it's it's just, it's it's over. It's over. It's just, it... it well, if it isn't yet, it might need to be. Is so. it is a company, it's a chicken with the head cut off. It's still running around, but it's eventually just going to fall over and... Pretty much. And turn so they into should call, They should call... No, but you... Uh, they should call it something like, you know, instead of rooster teeth, they should call it like... Dead cock. Or, yeah, or headless cock or something. Headless cock. <laughs> I mean, so. Circumcision Inc. Yeah, something. All right, so we're going to wrap this one up? Yes. Okay, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll keep an eye on this. Uh, I have a feeling it's going to turn into quite the debacle. Yeah, it's going to be something. I'm, I'm kind of <laughs> curious to see how this goes. Another day, another drama, right? There always is. 
That's right. why they need us. Yeah, right. All right. So we're going to wrap it up? Yep. Goodbye. Bye.